Akwaba to the Mad Classroom. In our previous lesson of looking at both parts of the fundamental theorem of calculus, we established some connections between the antiderivatives and the definite integral, where we had the part one and the part two. But we need a very convenient notion for this antiderivatives which leads us to our topic today, which is the indefinite integral. So the traditional way of writing or the notion of this integral of f of x dx is the traditional way we use uh, for an antiderivative. And this is what we are calling the indefinite integral. So you realize that with this integral, we don't we are not considering what the lower and upper bound. And in such form, I mean you always get a result plus a certain word constant. So we have a certain result, result plus a certain constant c. So you evaluate your integral plus a certain what's constant. So if I have an example, let's say I have the integral x dx. If I want to integrate, the standard way of linear function says that what? If I have x, what is the power of x? The power of x is what? 1, add 1 to 8. Then divide by the sum of of this which is what 1 plus 1 plus a certain word constant so if I do so what do you see you realize I have x to the power 2 divided by words 2 plus words a constant let's take an, another example I have 2 the integral of 2 x to the power 4 dx in our properties of integrals, we said if I have a constant, my constant can come out. So I have the integral x to the power 4 dx. So this is going to be 2 times what? x to the power 4 plus 1 divided by what? 4 plus 1. And this is what? 2 x to the power 5 divided by 5. Very good. Let's take plus, don't forget, plus what? A certain word, constant. Let's take another example. So, I have the integral. So, the integral. I have the integral s cube minus 3x squared plus 7x minus what? 5dx. Okay, so one of the properties says that we can write this word at sum. So I have the integral x cube dx. Minus what this is a constant, so let's bring that out 3x squared dx plus 7 your integral x dx plus minus 5. This is minus minus 5. Okay, so uh, minus 5, minus 5 integral dx. So let's simplify. If I simplify, what do I have? I have x 3 plus 1 divided by what? 3 plus 1 here minus your 3. What do I have? x to the power 2 plus 1. Divided by what? 
the sum of the sum at the power which is what two plus one plus seven x to the power what one and another one divided by one plus one minus five if i integrate the x what do i have x plus a constant c so what do i have this gives us what x to the power 4 divided by 4 minus 3 x to the power 3 divided by what 3 plus 7 x s squared divided by 2 minus 5 x plus c so let's see you realize that a 3 divided by 3 can cancel out so if it happens so what do i have you realize that i have this is going to be so my final answer is going to be what x to the power 4 divided by what 4 minus what x cube plus 7 x squared divided by 2 5 x plus c so this becomes what our final answer and there are so many examples to look at why don't you try this and give your results in the comment section so you have the integral so try let's see so try this i wait for your responses in the comment section so i have the integral the key roots key roots of what x squared the x what will be your answer